go and you must be that's why I heard the sound of the distant drum the sound of distant drums there for our first day's broadcasting here on Muswell Hill Broadcasting Corporation this is our first day of broadcasting here and we hope everybody's listening because the next song will be coming up in about uh, half an hour's time but in the meantime it's 10 o'clock and it's time for Dial a Beast now this is our new uh, program which de uh, deals exclusively with young children uh, who want fairy stories read by our master of fairy stories Frank Gordon I'm waiting now for the first phone call. How's the phone coming on, Frank? I'll just dial the producer, Jim, and see if he's ready for the incoming calls. Okay. So you start dialing at your end, and we'll see what we can do for you. Okay, Jim. It's Jim and Frank here in the studio. Yes, he's awkward, but it's being called Jim, I know. Um, you ready for the calls now? We're ready at this end. Okay. Well done, Frank. Now, just to explain, folks, Frank is going to read stories for anybody who cares to ring in at any time. And there's the there's first one call. already. Fantastic. Wonder where this is coming from. Hello, Doctor Jones from California. California, God. And it's your little daughter Esme. Oh, hi, Esme. Esme. Yeah, I've had a lovely day, Esme. Sure. And you want to hear a story about Percy the polar bear? Okay, so here we go. Well, we just set the clock. Don't forget, it. would you remind of that? It's from uh, California. Yes. It's from California, as me and tell your daddy that it's a hundred dollars a minute at peak time, which is now. Off you go, Frank. So, once upon a time, there was a polar bear called Percy who lived. Now, where would a polar bear live? Yes, he would live in the snow, snow and the glass the, the ice it looks like glass yes it does no he doesn't live in the glass as we know he lives in the arctic and you know what he had no home of his own yes i think so too what a shame what a shame kids so he decided he was going to build himself a house no they don't have bricks in the arctic that was percy's problem so he thought he would make his house out of no you can't make a house out of snow esme no no snow would fall down i know your snowman doesn't fall down but if you built a house out of you t you ask your daddy you don't build a house out of snow you build it out of ice and that's 200 pounds yes yes tell your daddy it's now 200 pounds and Percy the polar bear has decided he's got to build his house out of ice. Well, he had this wonderful idea. Now, what do you think it was? Well, what it was, was that he was going to live in an iceberg. You know what an iceberg is? Now, it's not quite a big refrigerator, Esme. It's a great floating lump of ice in the middle of the ocean. And he was going to make that into his home. But first of all, he had to make it flat. Would you tell your daddy that the cost is now three? Um, three nine six eighty eighty dollars. Seven hundred and eighty dollars, Esme. Yes, tell daddy doesn't mind, but um. Mummy, what about mummy? What about mummy? Mummy's mummy's divorced. I see. Yes, yes, you were right about that. Yes. Um. So anyway, I think that will be enough for today, Esme, and then. If you'd get, like to phone back tomorrow... Would you ask me like a happy birthday? Would you like... It is, yes, it's your birthday today. And would we sing happy birthday for we, you? Now? We'll all of sing happy birthday for Esme in, in Muswell Hill. Everybody in Muswell Everybody Hill. Everybody in Muswell and Hill. And Frank and I... Muswell Hill's in England, Esme. Where's England, Esme? Well, it's to the right of America. You just keep going. Is she ready? You ready, Esme? Okay. Here, Here we, we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Esme. Happy birthday to you. Hip, 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 hip.